myself as a youth outreach coordinator, um, part of my role is to really mentor and to inspire young people to take initiative um, and to kind of empower young people um, with the tools uh, in order to kind of give, get a creative message out there. And so part of the program is um, we'd like to use film as a way to open that dialogue around homophobia and bullying. We start by asking a simple question, which is that how would your film change the world? And it's, it's a big question, and yet the intention behind it is really simple, is that um, once young people have the tools um, to make change in the world, they feel like they can be um, transformative agents. And so what I do uh, as part of the Sound Schools program is that um, every summer, up until this year, actually, we have the No Hate Filmmaking Boot Camp, which is a week-long and all-intensive boot camp, film camp, uh, for young people who are interested in making film and making a change in the world. So we really try to harness the power of filmmaking in order to get young people engaged in, in issues related to homophobia and bullying. But it is about um, harnessing that creativity, is that every single um, person, whether they're, you know, struggling with oppression um, or struggling with um, a lost sense of self or not um, knowing who they are or feeling like they can't be themselves or feeling isolated in schools or in their communities, it's really about empowering them with those tools in order to make a creative change. I don't necessarily know if I inspire young people to be, you know, our future filmmakers if you will, but I, I do think that I'm inspiring young people to just be themselves. I think at the end of the day, I definitely um, leverage the way that I speak, the way that I connect with young people, the way I look even with my blue hair. It's like all of these things can um, and, and hopefully in, encourage young people to be like, oh, I don't have to you know, wear a suit in order to be successful. I don't have to um, adhere to a certain set of conformity in order to be successful. I can have tattoos, I can have weird hair, I can not look what is ascribed to be um, conventional in our society in order to be successful. So we can all be a little weird, um, so we can be a little like freaks and the nerds and the geeks, like really it's about saying that it's okay to be those things and that I know it's hard. It's hard in schools because to be different is always hard. But um, I think now more than ever, whether that's through filmmaking or art, because we talk about art as more than just painting a picture. Um, you can be a writer, you can be a musician, but all of these things um, can enable you to be you. I'm Jen Sung, Youth Outreach Coordinator with the Out in Schools program and the Vancouver Queer Film Festival.